Hello, first graders. Today is April 27, 2020. It is Monday. Um, so in math, what we're going to do today is we're going to continue working on helping Hansel and Gretel map the trails near their house. So yesterday you learned with Mrs. Draper how they came up with a new strategy and they decided to mark the trails with a pine cone and a pebble. So in the original story, Hansel and Gretel, they marked their trail using breadcrumbs. But there was a huge problem using breadcrumbs. Can you think of what the problem was? Mm -hmm. um, somebody said, Miss Chen, birds eat breadcrumbs, so they disappear. So that's what that was what the problem was, was that the breadcrumbs were getting lost or eaten. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at this map that Hansel and Gretel drew. And this time they used breadcrumbs, pine cones, and pebbles to mark their path in the woods. Before we get started, what I want to do is I want us to look at this map a little bit closely. And I'm going to ask you some questions. So first of all, how many pine cones do you see? Hmm. Let's see. Let's count. One, two, three, four. How many pine cones do you see? Four. Good job. I'm going to write that on my sticky so that way we can remember it. Now, how many steps are between each pine cone? So here's a pine cone. Here's a pine cone. How many steps are between? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten steps between each pine cone. And how many pebbles do you see? Let's see. One, two, three. Three pebbles. And how many breadcrumbs are there between a pine cone and a pebble? So how many steps or breadcrumbs are between a pine cone and a pebble? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So five steps between a pebble and pine cone. Now, how many breadcrumbs are there in all? How many do you see? All right, each of these is a breadcrumb. So how many do you see? I'm going to give you a second to count them. So I heard somebody say, I think there is 35. Let's see if that's true. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So close. 28. So I'm going to record that as well. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to start figuring out what these mystery boxes are, all right? So we know that this is one, and we know that if we see this is a five steps, and these mean it's a 10 steps. So that knowing that, if you know a pine cone is five steps, you know a pebble is 10 steps, breadcrumb is one, 
Um, what number do you think this might be? This might be a five. And how do you know that this might be a five? Good, somebody said, oh, I know, I can count. One, two, three, four, five. Is there another strategy that you came up with? I heard somebody say, oh, I know. I saw that there was one, two, three, four more steps from this one, and one plus four is five. Good job. Now we know that this one's one, we know this one's five. And what do you think this one might be? Three, good job. Now, is there a strategy that you used? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, I counted backwards from five. So I said five, four, three, and then I wrote the number three. Another strategy was I counted up from one. So one, two, three. Now, I want to think of another strategy that does not involve counting up or counting down. Somebody said, oh, Miss Chen, I thought of a new strategy. I thought five take away one, two equals three. That's a really good strategy. Another person said, Miss Chen, I thought of another strategy. I saw that it's one plus one, two plus two equals three. That is such a good strategy. All right. So the next thing I want you to do is, what do you think this pebble is going to be? Ten. Good job. And how do you know it's ten? Somebody said, Miss Chen, I know it's ten because I saw it's five more from here. So five and five more is 10. Good job. What about this breadcrumb? 11? How did you get 11? Maybe you said 10, 11. That's a good strategy. But I want us to start adding on. So 10 plus how many more steps? 10 plus one more step is 11. Good job. Using that same strategy, saying 10 plus one, two, three, four, four. What number do you think might be here? 10 plus four is 14. Good job. Now, what do you think goes here? Somebody said, I think it's going to be 17. Let's see if that's true. 15, 16, 17, 18. Hmm, we're a little bit off. Let's try a different strategy. So I'm counting on. Think of a different strategy. Somebody said, I know, this is 18. And I got 18 because I know this pine cone is 15 and 15 plus 1 2 3 is 18 nice now knowing that this one is 18 what do you think this pebble is going to be it's 20 and what was your strategy strategy for finding out that this one was 20. Somebody said, oh, I know, I counted by 10. So I said 10, 20. That's a good strategy. Another strategy somebody said was, I saw the number 15, and then I counted how many more steps it took to, for me to get to the pebble. So one, two, three, four, five. And that gave me 20. Nice job. Another strategy somebody said was, I saw the number 18. And then I counted how many more steps until the pebble. One, two. 
then that gave me 20 as well. All right, so what do you think this breadcrumb is gonna be? And I want you to use what you know about pine cones, what do you know about pebbles, and what do you know about breadcrumbs as part of your strategy. So when he said, I know it's 24, because I know that I counted from here, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Another person said, I know it's 24 because 20, I started from 20 and then I took one, two, three, four steps and that gave me 24. That's a really good strategy. Another strategy somebody said was, I know that this is 25 and one less than 25 is 24. Also a very good strategy. Now, if you know this one is 25, and how do I know that one's 25? Somebody said, oh, I know because it's 20 plus five more steps. 20 plus five is 25. Mm-hmm. I can also count from the pebble. So 1, 2, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we know this one's 25. What do you think this bar crumb's gonna be? It's gonna be 26. And how do you know it's gonna be 26? I know it's gonna be 26 because, mm-hmm. I know it's gonna be 26 because 26 comes after 25. That's a good strategy. I know it's 26 because one more than 25 is 26. Good. Now, what do you think this pebble is going to be? I think this pebble is going to be because Mm -hmm. I heard you all the way in my house. Um, I know this is going to be 30, and I heard somebody shout all the way into my house. I know this is going to be 30 because I can see that there's a pattern. 10, 20, 30. That's a really good noticing. Another person said, oh, I know because I counted up from the pine cone. So I said 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's awesome. Another person said, oh, I came up with an equation and I counted in my brain and I saw 25 plus how many steps? One, two, three, four, five. And that gave me 30. Or maybe in your brain, you already knew that five more from 25 was 30. Also a really good strategy. Remember today, all we're doing is practicing our strategies and there's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, knowing this is a breadcrumb, what number do you think this might be? This is 31, my gosh. And how do you know that this is 31? Mm-hmm. This is 31 because it is a number that comes after 30. Good job. Somebody also said 30 plus one is 31. Also really good job. Now, for this pine cone, I want you to use one of the strategies that I use today and find out what do you think this number might be? Mm -hmm. It is 35. Good job. And I heard some people shout at me, for, and I hurt you from my house. And you said, I know it's 35 because I counted from 30. So I said 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That's a good strategy. 
Another person said, I'm noticing the pattern of the pine cones and that's counting by fives. So I said five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Good. Another person said, I know that this one's 31 and I took four more steps. So then I counted up from 31. So 32, 33, 34, 35. Good. Another person came up with the addition question, addition equation. And they said, I know I started from 31. And then I counted how many more steps I took. One, two, three, four. And then I saw the equation and I got 35. There are really good strategies. All right. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna look for this packet. And you're gonna find this page. Oops, it's upside down. This page. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're going to answer the questions. I'm gonna read these to you. Um, so number one says, how many breadcrumbs, pine cones, and pebbles will you need to mark 10 steps? So there's this to help you. So number one says, I need mm, breadcrumbs. I need mm, breadcrumbs. Number two says, I need mm, pine cones. I need mm, pine cones. Number three says, I need mm, pebbles. I need mm, pebbles. Okay. Number two says, use the clues on these paths to figure out what number belongs in each empty box. Do you see the birds have come along and eaten some of the breadcrumbs? So this is just like what we just did in our math lesson. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find out your mystery numbers here. So if you know this is 33, what number do you think this might be? We'll do this one with you. So, I know that this is 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Good job. And I could tell it that there's something missing because there's a hole here, there's a hole here. Another strategy, instead of counting up from 33, is you can use this pine cone and count from 35. So 36, 37, 38. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to pause the video and figure out this one by yourself and then unpause the video to see if you got it correct. And if you said 44, give yourself a pat on the back. So what I did was I filled in the holes and then I counted from 40 and then I counted up 41, 42, 43, 44. I also can use another strategy where I could say this is 40 and I know it's 40 because this is 39 and this is 40. So I said 40 plus how many more? One, two, three, four. Okay, so try this one by yourself. And remember, if you're a little bit lost or confused, you can always um, message Miss Draper or me.
Now here it says, number three says, use the clues on the path below to figure out what belongs in each empty circle, a pebble, a pine cone, or a breadcrumb. And the author gave you a clue. This is 86. And if you're not too sure which one it might be, remember a breadcrumb is one step, a pine cone is five steps, and a pebble is 10 steps. I'm gonna do one with you to help you. And you can pause the video to make sure you got it right. I'm gonna figure out what this one is. Did you get pine cone? Mm-hmm. Um, how did you get figure out that this is a pine cone? I know this is a pine cone because it is the number 85 and 85 is counting by fives. Good job. Now, the last one is a challenge, which means I want you to try. It says, how many pebbles, pine cones, and breadcrumbs would you need to mark the first 30 steps on the trail? So you're gonna ask yourself, how many pebbles, pine cones, and breadcrumbs you will need to mark the first 30 steps? And if you, can, if you want to, and it helps, draw a picture right here, and then count how many breadcrumbs you used, count how many pine cones you used, and count how many pebbles you, you, you used. All right, so that is the end of today's math lesson. As always, be safe, be kind, be great. Don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe. Love you guys.